for today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall closet tour with you guys, along with sharing a bunch of staples that are like needs to have in your closet for the fall time. Just the other day, I actually reorganized my entire closet. I got everything all clean. It, it became a pigsty. I wish I had taken before shots. You know, maybe I can find some in some old vlog footage. Why would anyone bother looking after them? Said Ron Class that set them loose. Right then. But it's safe to say that it was a hot freaking mess. And so the other day I took a few hours, sat down, blared some tunes, and cleaned the crap out of it, organized it all, donated a bunch of old clothes, and established my entire closet with all of my clothes ready to go for the fall time. If you guys aren't following me already, be sure to check out my Twitter and my Instagram, and also subscribe if you guys aren't already part of the Coast Crew fam, because my too cozy in here and there's room for more. And other than that, if you guys want to see a fall closet tour with some suggestions of staples you need in your closet for the fall, then just keep watching. So first things first, this room is a closet room, but I also use it as a bit of an office slash distribution center for Coz. But when you first walk in, you see my guitar here. I've had this guitar forever. I got it for Christmas a few years ago. Um, I still play it actually daily, surprisingly, something you guys might not know. I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so I just kind of put it there. So when you walk in, we'll go right from the first corner. So this is the built-in closet that came with this bedroom. Starting from the top, I just have my laundry essentials there just because the laundry room is literally right here so it just makes it easy and accessible. Beside that I have this big giant Too Faced box from when they did their peach campaign and inside of there I have belts, extra little clutches and bags as well as some scarves and then beside that I just have a bunch of purses. This is where I keep all of my purses. I tried to minimize the amount of bags that I have. I have this pink one here from Forever 21, this backpack from H&M for when I do my work in cafes and stuff. This is my duffel bag that I got from Forever 21. This is, I think, also from Forever 21 as well. That one is from H&M, and then that one, I think, is from Lulu's. Scrolling down right here, this hanger just has all of my sports bras on it, so I just hang all of them on here to make them nice and easy. You know, the cleanest ones from the top, and that way throughout the week, I just kind of pick through them since I do work out quite a bit, so I end up making through most of them before I do my laundry and then restock the hanger. And then beside that, I just have a bunch of clothes in colors that I don't normally wear. If you guys have never noticed before, my wardrobe is very much blacks, peaches, browns, grays, and I don't tend to veer far from those colors, but the few extra colors I do have are like reds, navies, and a bit of like pastel blues and such. And so I just keep those um, hung up in here since they are just kind of like bonus or extra dresses. And then in this little shelving unit, I'll go through each and every shelf and tell you guys what's on all of them. Starting at the top, these are just my bralettes. I keep them here just to keep them out of the way of where I keep my bras because, I don't know, it just seems a lot easier. And sometimes I'll just wear bralettes as tops when I'm home, just chilling by myself. And then this section is my PJs. These are all of just like big oversized t-shirts and comfy pajama shirts and things like that with a couple cute like silky ones. And then here are just all of my pajama shorts. Like I've mentioned to you guys before, I don't like wearing um, pants to bed. That said, I do have two pairs of pajama pants at the very bottom, but they're more so for Christmas time. I just wear shorts all the time. So these are all my comfy like lounging shorts. The next shelf is lounge sweaters and sweatpants. Pretty self-explanatory. I downgraded all of my sweatpants. So these are actually all of them here. I have two pairs of black, um, one pair of burgundy, uh, a pair from Lulu's, a pair from Roots, and a pair from Abercrombie, which is also gray. Aside from that, I just don't let myself buy any more sweatpants because they take up so much room. And to be honest, I don't wear sweatpants all that often. I usually wear leggings instead. And then as for lounge sweaters, I had to downgrade because this was overflowing. I do tend to hang out a lot in like loungy, comfy sweaters, but I've made it a new rule that anytime I buy anything from my closet now, I have to swap it out for something else. Um, in here, I just have like my crop sweaters at the top. And then I have just some basic like Adidas sweaters and hoodies and things like that. The rest of my hoodies and such are actually in my bedroom. These are pullovers, whereas the one in, ones in my bedroom are zip ups. And then moving down a shelf, this is all my fitness gear. Again, I downgraded all of this just the other day when I was doing my reorganizing because realistically, I did not need, you know, 15 <laughs> pairs of leggings for working out. So again, these are all my bottoms. I just have leggings. I have yoga pants at the very bottom and then just all of my legs 
leggings and then my shorts on top and all of my workout tops with the t-shirts at the bottom and tank tops towards the top and one shelf lower this is just my Wii and my drone because I don't have anywhere else to put it so and then I just keep my workout shoes here because it's right by my workout shelf then moving over I have this little three-tier shelf thing that I've actually had forever top drawer I keep bras and underwears which is why I probably won't show you guys that one this drawer I'm actually extremely proud of this is my bathing suit drawer which I have organized bottoms on this side and tops on this side and they're actually coordinated like side by side in the middle I just have extra um, straps for bathing suits I have my bathing suit like cover up and then I have a bathing suit bag and then I have all my one pieces in the middle maybe next summer or for spring break next year I'll do like a full video on all of my bathing suits and then the bottom drawer which might not even open because it's stuffed full has all of my shorts here and all of my short skirts here and including my fall ones and all my jean shorts and stuff like that. And then on top of this, we just have, this is where Bentley's clothes are kept. He has one other sweater that's in the wash right now, but I just keep his stuff here. In this little woven basket, I keep all of my workout socks. And then you guys can't really tell because of these clothes, but I keep all of my extra hats. I have my beanie, I have two black caps, a flat top hat that's gray one for vacationing that's woven and then a black one for vacation as well and so that is the first section of this closet and then moving on i'm not going to show you guys too much on this side because it's super boring to be honest with you guys in the top i just keep extra blankets pillows um tapestries all of my towels and then this shelf is just stuff for videos that I have coming up, like these are for a DIY. I have a notebooks video coming up for Utober, some extra makeup stuff that I have, my candles, again, just like miscellaneous things like my Polaroid camera and some printer paper. And then the bottom shelf is a bunch of extra books that I don't have out in my living room, so completely irrelevant. And so that completes that side of the closet. And then moving on, you guys will have seen this in past videos if you've watched my old fall closet tour. But this closet sectional I have is just from Ikea. I picked it up from my last apartment and it's still the same one. So on the top, I just keep all of my extra shoes that I don't need to grab for, like a lot of high heels and extra booties and things that are maybe a bit more out of season. And then my way of organizing the racks here is on the left side, you'll notice I have all of my dresses and rompers and on the right side, it goes from long jackets all the way to shorter jackets and then to a couple sweaters and nicer tops that I like to keep hung up. And this goes as far as even the shoes. On the left side, you'll notice it's all of like my tan and like colored booties and then on the right side, all of my black booties. And then moving down to the last section, all four of these tubs are coordinated as well for clothing. But starting up at the top, I will start from the left side. It goes from black to like black whites, to grays, to whites, to a pinky tones, to oranges, to burgundy. And then on this side, I have all my jackets coordinated from length and then I move into shorter jackets but fake leather ones then more bomber style then jean jacket then fur then sweaters then longer tops in the back I have all of my thigh highs and like I don't know taller booties and then in the front I have like my two most worn pairs um, my favorite these are like my good luck booties don't ask and a pair of my favorite heels in the like tan color and then on the other side where all my black booties are again I have all of my most worn ones in the front as well as some of my newer pairs and then I have my taller ones in the back and two thigh highs that are black and then as for the bins underneath this bin here is all of my pants and bottoms I have them organized as jeans in the back and then these are material pants in the front the organization for this one is these are all of my like crop tops my super nice like going out tops um, and things like that these are all of my bodysuits in the middle and then this side here are non crop tops but they're still really nice tops like not something you would lounge around your apartment in really nice like blouses and things like that like silk tank tops and such so that is how I organize my tops and then moving on to the next bin this one here is all of my lounge slash printed tops is long sleeve versus short sleeve so those are where all of my like graphic tees are from Led Zeppelin to ACDC tops which you guys have seen a million times before and then basically same thing on this side but just long sleeve as well as kind of like sweater tops or just more cozy you know like knitted tops and things like that and then the last bin I have all of my maxi dresses on this side and all of my maxi skirts on this side and then moving on you're gonna notice that I have these two stacked bookshelves here 
that are actually from Walmart. They split in the middle, as you can see right here. Again, with this, I just keep a bunch of extra shoes. Some of like my favorites are up on the top. I think I've been telling you guys this forever, but I got these shoes forever ago. I never got a chance to wear them, so I think I'm just gonna save them for my wedding day because look at how epic they are. They're like the most gorgeous pair of shoes in the world. And then I just have some of my other favorites, like my big giant burgundy ones up here, pumps, um, some burgundy shoes, and then it moves into my sneakers. I have my Adidas sneakers, some Nikes, um, my Converse, as well as like my red high tops. And then just some extras at the bottom there, like silver and red for the holidays and brown for, you know, vacations, and then an extra pair. Like, those are the comfiest black heels you'll ever wear. And, of course, how could we forget? I like to keep this hat out, just because I feel like, one, it adds to the closet, and two, I got it in Paris, and it's my favorite hat ever, so I just like to keep it out and make it easily accessible. Out here, I just have a patio with my hammock. The rug I have in here, it's from Society6. And then scrolling up, I just have my K and my N from when I went to Toronto Film Festival last year. It's attached to a bathroom, which is the actual bathroom that I use. So I usually have a candle burning in here at all times. And then I have all of my products Sup guys? I have um, all of my products in here that I actually use and I have all of my shower products in here as well because this is where I shower, including my little speaker there. But this is kind of irrelevant to my fall closet, so let's move back out. So coming out of the bathroom, the last section I have to show you guys in my closet tour is my, I like to call this my little Co's work section. I'm planning on getting another canvas like this, but I actually want to get the Co's logo across it. This is literally where I do all of my Co's work. So hanging up, again, I've had this for forever, but it's just a um, picture of a bridge, and I strung some lights from Urban Outfitters across. Here you guys are going to notice, this is a bunch of stock for Co's, so that's what's in all of these boxes, including on the top, and then in front I just have all of my shipping materials because as of right now I'm shipping out all the Co's items myself not expecting Co's to do as well as it did So shipping everything out has been absolutely insane guys You're gonna notice also there's a bunch of mugs that came in for orders this week that are chilling on top of the desk So I have to ship those out tonight, but yeah, this is like the little desk slash work section for Co's I even have my workbook here This is my orders book that I write all of the Co's orders in both so that I can get them ready and shipped out And then I have a little um like media section here that is unrelated. It's just, just where I keep my extra lenses, my microphone, and my little gorilla pods for vlogging. And again, just more Co stuff. This is like the little slip you get when you make a Co's order. Um, all of the Co's stickers for the shipping. And then on the bottom there, I just have the printer. I bring my laptop in here when I'm doing all the Co's work, and I just sit at this desk and get it all, you know, sectioned off and ready and yeah. I actually have more Co's merchandise coming in today so this section is about to get a lot more hectic. It's like a little closet slash office space slash distribution center. And so that is it for a general closet tour and how I've decided to reorganize everything. And so without further ado, let's jump into the staples for your closet for the fall time. So when it comes to stocking your closet for the fall time, for hats, I would start by getting a black beanie and a black flat cap because I don't think you're gonna need anything else aside from that when it comes to the hat department. And with jackets being my go-to for this fall time, my two stocked or staples would be a good, you know, fake leather jacket for going out and also a nice trench coat because trench coats are the bomb. I ain't even think of letting go. I ain't never thought of going nowhere. And what is fall without booties or shoes? Um, these are like my go-to. They're actually from Urban Planet. They were 20 bucks. But having a good set of black booties is essential for the fall time, as well as a good pair of sneakers. And my faves are these dark gray Converse that I got last year as well. And my last staples for the fall time would be one, a good knit sweater that you can wear that's comfy, you can wear it with nice clothes and with more lounging clothes. And then of course, how can we forget a good lounge sweater too? I love having like a good black oversized shirt just to kind of lounge around the apartment, but also just to wear with leggings for comfier days and cold rainy days. Now all my emotions are all cause of you. I ain't even think of leaving sometimes. I ain't even think of letting go. So 
I'm going to leave a checklist for fall closet staples down below in the description box. And aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed my fall closet tour. I love you guys. I'm going to be back and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. I ain't even